Okay, this is a video series on <clears throat> using practice score on an Apple product, either an iPad, an iPod, or an Apple iPhone. It'll be broken up into a series of about four different ones, how to set it up, how to score it, some troubleshooting, such like that. Of course, this is the main screen menu for practice score using version 1.653. There's some later versions, but this one works just about as well as the rest of them. There's just slight updates to the others. Very first thing you're going to want to do is go to the match menu and create a new match. <coughs> Hit add match at the bottom here. And you have new match. Tap on the new match. You can either add, delete those by hitting the back button here, or you can just touch the little gray X there and it'll delete everything in that row. We're going to type test for our new match. If our match date is different than the day we're actually setting it up, we can adjust that down here at the bottom, or the 30th, which we did, and then hit done right here in the corner. And then you have different pistol type matches, all that. You would just touch on whichever one you actually wanted to use. And it'll load that type match. We're going to use the USPSA for this example. Read only is exactly what it says. The only thing you can do is read it. You can't do any changes or anything like that. It's a suppressed score alerts. I don't like to have that on. I like to have my alerts when they have an incomplete score. And set the match password is to prevent unauthorized users from posting this match to practicescore.com without the correct password. Score logging. Logs all scores is score logs on practicescore.com for verification. That's a good idea for a big match. Small match probably don't need it. Uh, the mode is always in creation mode until the stage has been scored. The match has been shared. And when you're on creation mode, you, mode shooters and targets may be deleted, and there's no. And if there are no stages, the match scoring type can be changed. And then, of course, you have your open squatting, which deletes all the squatting on there. Everybody's basically in one big squad, which seems tedious to me. If you get done with everything on that screen, you'll tap matches up in the upper left-hand corner to go back. Tap the name of your match test and go back to the main screen. The next thing you're going to want to do is build some stages for your match since you have your match included in there. Hit the tap build stages. You'll see the build stages screen comes up. As many stages as you would like for your match. <coughs> uh, you notice that actually stage one, stage two, stage three as you're done. And then go. What you have to do after you've added enough all the stages for your matches, go back and add details in the next subscreen for each stage. There's stage one. And you can leave it as stage one, or you can leave it as hit it and just name it as another stage, or leave it as stage one and just add a description as such, like Sam's stage. There you go. Uh, scoring type is Comstock as a Default, you can change that by touching on it. It'll go to Virginia or fixed time. And so we're going to have Comstock on this one. Number of strings, you may have a classifier that has multiple strings on it. Just touch the strings, add the number of strings to it, tap to enter. Paper targets, we're going to have three paper targets on ours. You notice it defaults to hits required. You, Comstock can shoot more than what's Scored with two best hits. Uh, you can say if you got multiple, you got more hits than that, just tap on each with that till you got four. If you abs accidentally go too far, just put your finger on it, hold it, resets to zero, tap it one, two, go back to where you need to be. So you have a swinger that disappears or a disappearing target of some sort, and there needs to be no penalty mics. That's what the MPM stands for. Then you can just Tap that and he'll have two no penalty mics on target two. Okay, once you've done that, go back to the top left hand corner and tap edit stage. That'll bring you back to the uh, stage detail screen. So we have a couple of poppers in there. Just touch this deal, hit two, hit enter. 
Uh, we've got a couple of no shoots in our stage, so we're going to do that. Put some no shoots on her, just turn that button on so it shows green like that. Classic targets, we're going to have classic targets on that. It suppresses the B zone scoring, so it's just A, C, and D. And then it's not a classifier, so we won't turn that on. Now we have all the information for the stage. We'll go back and build our second stage. Go back here. We're going to call it the Bill Drill. And it is also Comstock. It is two strings. And we have three paper targets on this one. It's two hits required each, so we have to do nothing to that. No Mac penalty. No penalty mics on there. We do have no shoots. This one is not classic targets, it's metric targets. And is a classifier. You notice that it's going to ask you for numbers only for the classifier code. Classifier code we're using. This information up here has to match this. It won't automatically put in the correct information. We're going to use 0, O. You need to put in the hyphen 08. And then we'll hit this still there and see this. Six rounds and a minimum of 30 points. Okay. Now, that adds that up. Let's see here. Anyway, so go back to build the stage. Do the same for all the rest of the stages. Paper targets, done, done. Go here, papers and plates, three type of deal. No shoots, not, not, no classifier. Okay, go build. Back, we have all the stages built. So we're going to go back to our match here, the very front match menu. Okay, you're going to see down here the stage is grouped. You're going to say yes or no. We put yes. You can. This is handy when you have two stages in one bay and you have the same. ROs run both stages. You can group them together. We can group stage three and stage four together that way because they're in the same bay. You know, it might be a long field course and a small speed sheet at the end. Now, when you get to the squad one, you're going to see that the stages are grouped all together. We were originally already on squad stage four. Now we'll go back to stage one and we'll group these when we group. And group that and just group whatever stage you want to group with the stage we are on now. So we were on stage one, we grouped stage two. Now we have a stage one, stage two for Bill, stage one, stage two for Philip, and one stage one, stage two for me. So it's handy to do so you can just go back and forth, especially if you're shooting the shooters continuously through the stages. You know, shooting all of stage one and then shooting all of stage two. This way you can shoot all of stage one, then shoot all of stage two and score them both together. Next thing we're going to have to do is enter shooters and squads. Before you start adding shooters, the best thing is to make sure your match divisions are set up. If you notice here you have limited Number 10 production and all that. It usually comes up all checked. You have to uncheck. So limited and LTD is the same. But if you're downloading it from match sign up or practice score, it could be all spelled out or it could be just the letters like it is there. We're doing it from match sign up. So our download is from all the words that so we're going to have production limited limited and revolver and single stack and recognized in our match they're highlighted in a tan color and they're checked all down the side go back to the top left hand corner and tap shooters match classes and match classes you have all these that come up checked like that USPSA there's no X you don't know what that is we don't have any unclassified shooters so we're not going to recognize that all the A, B, C, D, Grandmaster, and Master is checked. One last thing is the categories. You have ladies, junior, senior, super senior, law enforcement, military, and foreign. If you wanted to add, you check lady, junior, senior, super senior. 
You don't have any law enforcement, military, or foreign. But we want to add a new category. We can add a new category to our match by just tapping that. You notice the dialog box comes up. And we're going to put in Elder Division, which is higher than Super Senior. Notice it shows Elder now. And we just go to the top, tap Done and then highlight Elder so it will show up in our match. You can make as many categories as you'd like. You can also delete categories. You can take care, take out the Elder class. We'll take it out. Just tap the minus sign and hit Delete. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete this category. It won't be available in a new match unless you add it back. And the question and the answer is yes. Well, we're done. That. So, Correcting all our categories, so we'll go back to shooters. And match categories are done, match classes are done, match divisions are done. First shooter is always added from the add shooter with this gray box. As soon as the first shooter is added, though, it will not be there. I want to show you that. First name, we're going to put my name in here. You notice this dialog box comes up with all the Roberts in it. And I can select from which Robert I want here. Once I do that, which I'm already listed in here, it'll add all my information. Which, you know, I'm shooting single stack, I'm a B class, I'm a major power factor, and I'm not in a squad yet. Okay? Squad people at the time, as soon as you touch a one or two or three or whatever, it creates that squad in the background. Uh, let's see what's um, senior category. And then. I actually could be lady if I was so happened. Well, the example is that you can be more than one category. Category you can enter more than one category at a time. So I hit save. It doesn't show it on the category line, but it's saved in the background. Region, email, and phone. I don't usually put that in for a club match. I would put that in. I wouldn't necessarily put the engine. Region in, but the email and phone I would put in for a major match because you, sometimes you need to call these people or whatever afterwards. Um, disqualify, you don't do anything on that. That will automatically update if somebody is DQ'd and also list why they were DQ'd. Walk on, we'll cover later. Okay, and There will be something you'll have to do when you've already started the match and have to put somebody in it. Okay, So you notice my name's up there, but the add shooter box is gone it is now down in this lower right hand corner it says add shooter number two and a plus sign so we'll add shooter number two show you how to add somebody that's not in type in just type in their name Phillips Phillips, okay, and then you would of course type in a USPSA number if they had one, or I usually put pending in there if for some reason they don't have a USPSA number, and then of course a division be different, let's say production, you notice that production, it still lists the power factor as major even though all production people shoot minor, he's a C class or he's not, okay, yeah, you want to make sure and change that each time because that never changes. If it goes back to open or something, they're limited, it wouldn't necessarily go back. So we're going to put him on squad one. Go back like that. Again, we didn't have to put in uh, numbers or uh, phone numbers or stuff like that. Okay, let's see what else we can put in here. Oop, too many L's there. Okay, uh, we'll pour the C man, we'll squad him, we're gonna put him in squad one, have him enter, and then go across there. That's your number four, so we'll just keep doing that and we'll see. That. Okay, so we got six shooters in our match now, and down at the bottom, it says we have two with invalid divisions and one with an invalid class. We uncheck 
open on purpose. These two people are shooting open is not listed in there. So when you touch that, it'll tell you the invalid division is open. And there is no open in this match. Well, okay, we have open shooters. We need to go back and check that. So we will go shooters and then back to the main, or go back one, and then tap on match divisions, check mark open, so it shows up, go back to our shooters. We realize now that both people that were in open are now in the correct division. Now we have one with an invalid class. Ben Bryant is you. There is no you. We did said there was nobody. It was unclassified on our deal, so we'll have to go back there and correct that. Ben is actually a D-class shooter. Once we correct it, the screen goes blank. So everybody now, this is man shooter categories. It shows you that I'm a senior. Bob Rowe is a super senior. Ben has nothing. Davis has nothing. Philip Phillips is nothing. And Bill Poor is nothing. Uh, we can also click on it here and then add a category for him there. Say Bill was a super senior. And we'll go to save. And let's put Bob, but Bill Poor up there. And let's say Gabriel was a senior. Go to save. There's Gabriel up there with them, and two people, none, two seniors, two super seniors. So this is kind of a double check on everything there. Okay, down here at the bottom, you see it says squad and sort. Here you can go squad, and it'll show you the squads. You got squad one and squad two. Squad one has Philip Phillips, Bill Poor, and me. Squad two has Bill Ben Bryan. Oops, cancel. Don't touch it. Bob Royal up here is one not squad. Davis Grable is not squad. You can tap on Gabriel, put him in squad three, two, or okay, and it automatically moves in there so you can see where your squadding is, how many people are in your squad. Squad number two has three, squad number squad number one has three also. People, you'll move people around squad to squad that way. It's also handy at the shooters meeting to tell people, okay, squad one is so-and-so, so-and-so, squad two, so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. And like that. You also have this sort button. You can sort the names in last name, first name, shooter number, or none. That's the order that they'll appear here. You notice here they're all by alphabetical order. Okay, after you get all your squatting in, then you can export your squad list so you can print it. It's basically what it looks like right here. Of course, this is a pretty small match or whatever. But you can print this out so you can post it on somewhere where people can see where they're squatted for a large squad. Or it comes in handy instead of people asking you what squad they're in, you can just point to the thing while it's posted out there, you know. At the bulletin board or whatever, so that's what the uh, export squadron looks like. You got a deal up here where you can email it to yourself and you email it to all the shooters, or you can open it in another uh, program, or you can just print it from your iPad to a uh, air print uh, printer. So let's go back there.